The burden of knowing is what journalist Catherine Elton calls it. For this age of personalized genetic testing, it's not personal. People exist in families. And by the nature of the fact that you have tested, you are revealing this information to people who may not want to know. Elton herself was offered a test for mutations in the BRCA1 gene, linked with a high chance of getting breast or ovarian cancer. Her mother, her grandmother, and her aunt had their lives cut short by these diseases. If Elton had the mutation, she could minimize her risks by having her breasts and ovaries removed. If she wanted children, she would have to have them before surgery. I didn't want those results. I didn't want to have that in the back of my mind and maybe make me settle for the wrong guy and rush into having kids before I was ready. I mean, I think there is a real fine line between avoiding death and ruining her life. But Elton, too, has paid for her decision. In 2008, while pregnant with her second child, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Yet despite the ordeal of surgery and chemotherapy and the risk the cancer might come back, she's convinced she did the right thing by not getting tested in her 20s. If I had made those decisions at 27, I can't even believe what I would have missed out on. And as the technology becomes more accessible, people just think, well, this is what you do. But I happen to believe that some of the costs of knowing our genetic destiny can outweigh some of the benefits. 